Father, we bless this couple. We thank you for them. Come on, let's put our hands out towards them and bless them. Come on, will you pray with us? Father, we bless them. We thank you for their lives. We thank you for the power of the word that's in their mouth. God, we loose it tonight, God, with the power and anointing that you've placed on them. Father, we thank you for that. You're going as two seats being sent from the church of the living God. And you're going to a dry place, says the Lord. But know this, that there are intercessors crying out in Altoona. And they're crying out, send the breaker, send the breaker, send the breaker. And you're going with a breaker anointing to break open that dry land and to bring a fallow land into being. You're there to raise up a harvest, says the Lord. And God says, if you go, you go with my spirit of the breaker anointing and you shall make a way and there will be others that will come and shall follow, says God. And it shall be an apostolic church planted in a dry land, but there will form progressively a harvest. And Altoona is going to come under a restoration, a restoration and a reformation because of the revival spirit that's in your seed in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this word tonight to this precious couple, Lord, that God, you chose, you plucked them out. You chose uh, to put this mantle on them and to give them the favor of that area, God, to cause that dry city to become a watering hole, an oasis, uh, Lord, a place of rivers, a place uh, of lakes, a place of flowing anointing. And Lord, right now we come against that aspect thing that would come up out of the ground uh, and we rebuke that thing and we command it to go back from where it came from. And in no way will it be able to strangle or hinder or stop uh, or even uh, at all slow down uh, the process of what you're doing, God. Father, we come against it, we bind it, and we say that it is not able at all come against this couple. We bind those things, those words, uh, and we bind them in Jesus' name. And we loose them tonight as they cross over the threshold. God, there's victory, there's life, there's joy, there's absolute provision, Lord. Father, I thank you. There's a building for them. There's a building that God already set aside for you. That building's brown. And that building has age to it. And God has already set that building in place for you. It's yours. He'll work everything out for his plans has gone before you. And he's made a way. All you have to do now is step over the threshold and you'll inherit what God has for you. You know, Jim, um, I have a very strange anointing. Uh, it has to do with buildings. It's just really weird. And there's a couple from uh, London, uh, from England. And I met them in Fiji. And my wife and I, first time I'd ever met them. And I had never seen them, never laid eyes on them. And I prophesied to them that there was a building in London that was theirs. And that they would know it was theirs because I, def I described what it looked like. It was an old building. And I told them that they're going to do a title deed check on that building and find out that a great revivalist owned that building. And then the second thing that would confirm it was God was in the back corner of the lot under all the bushes and all of the weeds was the cornerstone for the entire city. Everything was pulled from that cornerstone. Well, I went to London. When I got there, finally, they had pictures and they showed me it was the exact picture of what I saw. And it was General Booth, uh, William Booth, who owned that building. And the second thing was, while I was at the airport with my daughter, meeting him, and he was showing us the pictures, he got a call. And the call came from his gardener, who said, I wanted to tell you, we just found this extremely strange stone in the back corner under some weeds. And it's, it's, they, it's got a uh, surveyor's mark on it. We think it's the cornerstone of our city. 
This building that God has for you is in a pivotal place. It's in a place where it's going to cause uh, traffic and people. They already know about it. And it's a pivotal place that's going to be an instrument for you to have impact in that city. Amen. I saw a building. It looked like it had a steeple. I don't know. I haven't been around this city yet. But I'm not for sure. But it's, God says it's yours. It's in the city center. It's in the center. It's near the government. It's near that area. I don't know. It's right in the middle of the business district is where I was walking during the service. I was walking right in the middle of that, of, of the business district. We've not been there yet. We haven't driven. We just came in. And, and I just felt that it's right there in the center somewhere. And I felt God saying that he was pulling off a well, that there had been a well there and that he was redigging the well of a breakthrough, of a revival that had happened in Altoona many years ago and that you have been called and chosen and that he is unpopping. He is unpopping that well today that he has dug it. It's been dug. It's been redug. And now God says, get ready for Altoona. That well, that living water is going to spring up, spring up, spring up. Spring up from the center once again.